All right, you are looking at, in my opinion, the single greatest false prophet on YouTube, hands down. Today I'm going to show you how this woman outright lied using the name of Jesus to try to make herself uh, appear as though a prophecy has been fulfilled. It is cringeworthy, it is embarrassing, but more importantly, it is an abomination in the eyes of God. 118,000 watched this woman, listened to this woman lied, and they praised the Lord as though some prophecy was fulfilled. Look at the ratio of thumbs up. And by the way, she made no less than $762 for doing nothing, for lying, actually. And I'm going to show you the lie that she told, that she called a prophecy in the name of God. She called this a fulfilled prophecy. And indeed, it wasn't. It was a lie. Let's take a listen. Pay close attention. I can only speak what the Lord gives me. It's not up to me then to interpret many times what the Lord means unless he gives it to me. Sometimes it's very direct. We have a prophecy fulfilled because on the 9th, the Lord said a new protein strand would be discovered. On the 9th of March, a new... Now, did you hear that? Mark that date down. March 9th. Very important. The protein strand shall be discovered. That was the 9th. March 11th, 2021. Two days later, breaking news. Scientists find a natural protein that stops allergies and autoimmune conditions all glory be to god there it is breaking news all right i blew it up a little bit so you could read the headline here it is scientists find a natural protein that stops allergies and autoimmune conditions we're going to look this up in just a second but right now i want to take you to where she said she gave the original prophecy all right now she says that she got the prophecy on the ninth she did not do a video on the ninth that specified that at least not that I could find. If you go to this one, Ark of Grace and Man of Grace Talks, Word from the Lord. Uh, this was streamed on March 11th. Look at this, almost 160,000 people. Again, look at the thumbs up. Here is the prophecy. And then we're going to go to her blog. Very interesting stuff coming up here. So listen. I am going into the nucleus of the situation, the quote, brains of the operation, a new discovery with protons and neutrons and electrons, new ways of using electrical impulses shall be discovered, says the Lord, even to strike down missiles and cause them to fall from the air. A new protein strand shall be discovered. The table of elements is changed. That's it. Did you get that? A one liner. And I guess that's okay, but just so we can confirm it and cause them to fall from the air a new protein strand shall be discovered the that's it that's all she says you can go listen to it okay again look at the date march 11th follow me now now this is her blog spot page where she posts uh writings or transcripts rather of all her prophecies so we're going to scroll down just so you can see i'm not manipulating anything and here, 3921, this is what she puts. A new protein strand shall be discovered. That's it, right? So this confirms what she says. She says it's from the ninth, but what's this? That's the date that she posted it on her blog. Does anybody find that telling at all? I find it very telling. So let's confirm. She did the broadcast on the 11th, and then she posted this on the 11th. But you're just going to have to take her word for it that she got the prophecy on the 9th. Isn't that convenient? Now, here's the article that she referenced. She held up her phone. She showed you the article. And as you can see, this article came out on March 11th. Let me see if I can get that highlighted right there so same day does anybody find that suspect 
But even if you don't find that suspect, watch how insane this is. And I'm going to skip ahead. You can go read this article. But read what this says. Using transgenic mice and cultures of cells taken from human tonsils, researchers have now found evidence of how our bodies might defend against the mistakes that result in conditions such as asthma, food allergies, and lupus. They found a protein called neurotin. Write this down. Produced by immune cells, it acts like an inbuilt, I'm sorry, an inbuilt boss level antihistamine. Now notice what it doesn't say here. They didn't discover a new protein. They found that an existing protein called neurotin works against allergies and asthma and lupus. Don't believe me? Follow me again. Here's another article from the Australian National University dated 11 March 2021. New natural answers for killer allergies. And look what it says here. Let's read this together. Researchers have discovered a function, not a protein. They've discovered a function in the immune system that could hold the key to treating allergic conditions like asthma and stop life-threatening anaphylaxis. Experts from the Australian National University have unearthed a natural way the body prevents autoimmune disease and allergies. The process is driven by a protein in the body called neurotin. Now we found this absolutely fascinating mechanism of our own bodies that stops the production of rogue antibodies that can either autoimmune that can cause either autoimmunity or allergies. Senior author and you, Professor Car Carola Venuesa says, sorry. It's been known for years that neurotin has a role in the brain and in the nervous system, but we found an abundance of neurotin in the immune system and its mechanism, which has never been described in biology. We've known about neurotin for years. It is not a newly discovered strand of protein. The only thing that's new is the way or the fashion in which they can now use it. Amanda Grace lied. Now let's come back. Look what she said. Is this prophecy fulfilled? Now if you're honest, not only with yourself, but in front of the living God, this did not happen. Not at all. They've discovered a new way to use the protein strand that already exists called neurotin, it's not a new strand. She's an absolute liar. I don't know what more that I can say. This woman is an actual and outright confirmed false prophetess. So much so that she has to come out and lie to try to prove that her prophecies are coming true. What a time we live in. I just sit here and I'm so disheartened by the people that just blindly follow these outright rebellious pretenders. They pretend like they love God, like they follow God. When will this cease? Who will stand for the truth of Christ and serve him in sincerity? For those who wish to pay attention to the living God, Please adhere to his holy word. We were told these things were, would happen. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and unholy. How many, how many of these fit and deserve to be pinned directly on Amanda Grace? Boasting. Look, everyone, prophecy fulfilled. No, it wasn't. Proud. She'll never repent. She'll never confess to this. Lovers of their own selves. Look, she's doing this all for herself, for her ministry. Covetous. This was coveted. Just an outright lie. Unthankful. And by all means, 
unholy. What she did, make no mistake, was utterly unholy. Pretending that God is speaking through you and then coming out and lying. Woe to you, Amanda Grace. Woe to you. And don't forget, $762 she made just in 67 minutes on this super chat for being wrong. She's making that kind of money. Only in the end times could such things exist where the people simply do not care. They're being entertained. They're getting their itching ears tickled.